Being nice isn't just reserved for nice guys. No, in this episode, we're going to read about nice girls. Our first one is from Aaron Lowage 3000. I don't like it when you flirt with other girls. What? You don't even like me. You rejected me. I know. So then why do you care if they flirt with other girls? You rejected them. They were into you and you rejected them. So what do you expect? This next one is by Complex S. You should be grateful I hit you up. You're blessed now. You called giving me a headache and annoying me a blessing? You should always thank Allah for your blessings, me, before he takes them away. Says the girl in my DM. Why is your beard ginger? Ask Allah. You staring at my pics and videos again, huh? That's cute. Just ticking off my criteria. Weirdo. Too conceited. <laughs> you're calling them conceited while coming in and acting like you're the greatest fucking gift that ever came into this man's life when you randomly DM'd him. This next one is from Wide Astronaut 3378 You think you have life so figured out, and that's cute, but I'm so, so worried for when you learn that most of what you think will happen isn't going to. Other cool things will happen, but not because you're nice or have a great personality. Because you knew when to know your place, and you knew when to stand your ground. You unequivocally do not ever get to talk down to, make me feel bad, upset me in some dumb over-the-top way, go out of your way to be rude to me. Because again, you're 22, and your name is this. When I need a flight booked, I get it booked. I command power. I don't know why you're so obsessed with proving you're up to caliber with me. Why not just be a kid and be like, yeah, she's dumb, but she fucks, so... Most of the people in my life aren't NPCs, but they all started as ones, just like your little ass right now. Nice girl, I am sorry, but I did not mean it in that way at all whatsoever. I should have thought about how I phrased that. I did not mean it like that at all. Well, you already went out of your way to tell me exactly which girl you're kissing and exactly what is going on with this little idiot, which was like exponentially ballsy and fucking insane. If I told you who I'd been fucking, it would destroy your entire world. Have some goddamn respect. This is what I meant about not shooting too soon with, we make such better friends. We'll see, if you prove yourself still useful to me. That's where male friends live in my life. You aren't testing well so far. I'll give you a little leniency because everyone's messed up right now, especially in the communication department, but you're going to. Well, I can tell you right now, nice girl, going on the tangent that you're going is actually effectively making them look like they are better than you and bigger than you because you're acting like a child with your fucking paragraphs of text as if it's going to change their mind. This next one is by Not Just. Hey, nice girl. Unfortunately, I want to cancel our date for Saturday. I want to thank you for being willing to give me a chance, and I wish you the best. I'm currently interested in someone else, and I won't be talking to other women until I find out where it leads. Goodbye. <laughs> Who fucking cares? I'm fucking someone else as we speak. No need to even text that. Goodbye, loser. You're blocked, dummy. Who cuts people off if you're not even in a relationship yet? <laughs> dummy. Ain't no second chances here. Pizza place for dinner was trash as fuck. Upgrade and spend money, idiot. Bullet dodged, apparently. No, you didn't dodge the bullet. You dodged the fucking cannonball. You definitely want to stay out of range of that. You want to stay out of the way of that. And you definitely don't want to give that any time of day. This next one is by Stimulation. Every time I tell my boyfriend I'll Venmo him for something, he says, Okay, instead of, don't worry about it, I become one step closer to my Gone Girl origin story. If you're not happy with your boyfriend, then leave. If you literally just see him as a walking wallet, a walking bank card, bounce out because clearly you're not in a relationship for any form of equality when you want everything fucking paid for. This next one is by Papaya666. Yup. Would your boyfriend mind if I sent you a pic of what it looks like in a real man's pants? Did you offer to send me a photo of your dick? Because that is absolutely wrong and fucked up. 
I'll be doing you a big favor. Ugh. Maybe you should eat makeup so you can look pretty on the inside too. 90% of your beauty could be removed with the tissue. Because insulting is always going to be the way to someone's heart, or the way to win them over. You know, because everybody just loves to be insulted, and they love to be put down. And the nice guys and nice girls wonder why they're stuck in the nice life. And our final one is from Fishmooney1234. Would I be the asshole if I reported a girl in my nursing cohort as being unfit to be a nurse to our department head? I'm 31 female, in nursing school with a girl, Jenna, 28 female, and I don't believe she's fit to be a nurse. I want to preface this by saying I do not hate her. Quite the opposite. She is sweet, pretty, blonde, only one in our class, <laughs> nice, gentle, empathetic, and she always gets compliments from patients and instructors for her bedside care, be it our oncology rotation, psych rotation, maternity, whatever. I do not think she is a bad person. She was there for me and opened up about some of her mental disorders, PTSD, anxiety, bipolar, when I confided to her last semester as I was going through depression during a breakup, but I have reason to believe she would be a danger practicing in the field. After class, she was talking to some guys after class about how she uses her past traumas, abuse, and multiple attacks to help others, but she also spoke about how she has weird kinks now, particularly one where she's the victim again. When I heard this, I asked why she'd want to reenact or feel the way she did when she was attacked. She said something along the lines of how it made her feel more in control because she would be consenting to being the victim in a safe environment and how it helps her cope and her psychiatrist said it was therapeutic. I told her she needed a new psychiatrist and with her attitude, she shouldn't be upset if she gets attacked again. I said that she's unfit to work with patients, especially around children or vulnerable populations. Our friend Matt, mid-30s, jumped in and said that what I said was uncalled for and that she didn't deserve to get attacked again. I told him I didn't say she deserved to get attacked again and asked if he'd want her watching his children and he said seeing as she was a nanny before, he wouldn't mind. This pissed me off and I called him on the fact he wanted to sleep with her which pissed him off in return. He's married but him and Jenna have a close relationship. At first they thought he was trying to have an affair with her but he said she was like his little sister. Bullshit. And of the people who I thought were my friends started turning on me and I got upset. I reflected about the whole situation and determined even though she is a nice girl, she was a pervasive, borderline pervert and should not be working with patients face to face again. I do not hate her. She is a sweet person, but she has to go. Patient safety comes first. I typed up an email to our department head telling him everything, from inappropriate talk to her fetish, how it made me uncomfortable, about how the attention she got from men in our class and psych rotation was most likely because she was overtly sexual. Lastly, how her disorders or traumas shouldn't be a reason to put patients at risk. When I emailed a draft to my friend, also in our cohort, she said I would be an asshole if I sent it, even though I'm just looking out for our patients. Would I be the asshole if I sent it to our department head? Oh yeah, you just typing this out, you're already a complete, total fuckery of an asshole, and I don't think you can ever get it cleaned, I don't think you can ever be pure again, I think you're just a jealous piece of shit, and you're so butthurt that you don't get all the attention you need to try to be center of. You are the asshole, accept it. Alright, that's enough niceness for the day. Well that wraps up this episode of Nice Girls. If you liked the video, please drop a like, share my content on all of your social media, subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure to hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload, and drop a comment down below. It really helps with the algorithm and helps new people find my channel. Thanks for watching, thanks to my patrons, have a great day and stay safe out there.